Hey everyone, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. At this point in the game, I've gotten myself one Atlas Stone, and that was from finding an Atlas interface. And the general consensus is that I'm gonna need 10 of these for some very important event in the future. So the focus of my videos is going to be to collect these stones, so I'm gonna try to end each one with me arriving at a new Atlas interface and getting a new stone. And uh, one thing I have not been doing a good job of is upgrading this ship. I've still got the same ship I had when I started, and I haven't really given it any upgrades. And space is gonna start to get a little more dangerous. There's gonna be pirates and the like roaming about, and I could get attacked. And if that happens, I'm probably not gonna be able to defend myself. In fact, I just died uh, doing this recording and I uh, had some technical difficulties, so I was luckily able to come back to this save and not lose any uh, footage. Um, but uh, not having that ship upgraded was a big problem. I got destroyed by some pirates. Uh, so let's see, I want to get at least a cannon damage upgrade. This is photon cannon fires at an increased rate. I'm gonna need Thamium 9 for that. That's easy to get. So as soon as I see an asteroid, I'm gonna blow that up, get some Thamium 9. And in order to get an asteroid, I need to be in space. So let's leave this station. And I'm not seeing any asteroids here, so let's just get out of this system and move towards the next interface. Which is gonna be quite a ways away from us, so it's gonna be uh, a long journey to get there. And let's see. How far to the next system? It's gonna be... 44.9 light years The next one after that is 140 can't go that far so we're gonna have to go here So let's warp All right, so here we are in the system Leji Yan Quabin and uh, oh oh I'm getting attacked already who is attacking me? Oh, you jerks. Looks like they're heading over to that distress signal. So just like I said, space is gonna start getting a lot more hostile. They uh, took some shots at me and went on their way towards that battle over there. It's a distress signal. I can go and try to help. Although that's what got me killed last time. But I might give it another go. I'll at least have an upgrade this time. Let's see, let's get that cannon, cannon dan damage upgrade. That might help me a little bit, but these distress signals are no joke. Make sure your ship is in good shape. And uh, let's try it. I don't know if it's gonna go well or not, but we can try. So here's the distress signal. Oh, there are ships everywhere. This is probably not good. Uh, all right, well, let's try it. <laughs> let's try it. So uh, I'm gonna have to engage one of these guys. Your shots need to be led, and once you actually engage them, uh, you'll get a targeting reticle on them that won't be on the actual ship. It'll help you lead your target. So once I manage to get the attention of one of these guys, when I go to fire at them, it'll have a red cursor uh, just off of their actual ship. So it'll have the red cur cursor there to help lead my shots and destroy them. Let's see if I can get their attention. Uh, it's still not, still not getting it. Ah, can't quite hit them. And, oh, and also be extremely careful when you do these distress signals, because if you hit the ship you're supposed to be protecting, then that ship will attack you and it does ridiculous amounts of damage all right i got the ship's attention let's see if i can do this and it's really problematic when he goes in front of the uh ship i'm trying to protect like that because then i can't shoot him because i'll risk uh angering the ship i'm trying to protect but this guy i can go after this one all right so see how it has the target over there just aim for that target, don't aim for the actual ship. 
And, oh crap, my shield's already down. That's not good. Uh, let's repair it real quick. We've got iron, that'll work. Oh man, my shield is just getting beat up already. And I've got freaking 20 ships it wants me to destroy, are you kidding me? There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. My shield's already down again. Oh crap. Crap. Uh, zinc, sure. Oh my god, help me! They like take two shots at me and my shield's just trashed. Alright, got one of them at least, but I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. I've had to recharge my shield like four times just fighting one dude. I've got a lot of... I've got a lot of, uh, oxides, but I don't have that many. Especially if I'm gonna have to kill 20 of these guys. Oh, I got him! Well, that went much smoother. Apparently there's 19 left, though. That's ridiculous. I picked up aluminum. I don't think that helps me. Okay. We're still in this. See if we can get their attention. Look at all of them, it's ridiculous. You're supposed to ease me into it. <laughs> Just have me fight a couple ships, not a whole, like, fleet. Uh, I'm afraid to attack any of these guys. They're so, so grouped up, I might get all of them pissed off. Okay. I'm having trouble just getting his attention. Picked up some Thamium 9, must have blown up an asteroid. I'm not able to get their attention. Maybe I'll just switch to the phase beam. Maybe that'll be easier for me to aim. I haven't really played with it yet. Uh, I need a target though. Give me a target. Oh, there we go. Alright, phase beam. Oh wow, it overheats like instantly. That's not gonna work. Back to the phase cannon. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, you're getting blown up. Oh, he's down. But so is my shield. Oh, this, there's 20 left. 20 freaking left. Oh my god. I wish I could steal their ships because they're apparently much better than mine. Here we go. He's exposed himself. Ah. Oh, eat my fire. Oh, he's down. He is down, and so is my shield once again. Okay. We've got 16 left. And clearly not enough resources to actually pull that off. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Need to find a way to take these guys out without taking so much damage myself. But I can get their attention with that phase beam. That certainly works. So that got his attention. And that let me beat him up like that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, bad. Their beams just tear me up. My beam does like nothing. And theirs like destroys my shield in like a second. Alright, my shield's down again, but I've taken out another. Oh, I'm taking damage. Oh, I've got one like health left. It's bad. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get you. 
Oh, you're a dead man. You're a dead man. Get that beam of death off me. Oh, he's gone. He is gone. Alright, how many we got left? 14? 14. No way. Alright, beam is back out. Let's see if I can isolate one at- if I could get one at a time, I think I'll be alright. It's when I have to fight, like, three at once, they get all that damage in on me. There we go. Oh, and he's got his back turned. Oh, no he doesn't, that's his front. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Tear him up before he turns. Oh, he's turned, he's got that beam on me. That nasty beam, my shield is already down. Oh, and I'm dead. Well, clearly that was too much for me to handle. Just uh, could not take their crazy firepower. I'm gonna need upgraded ships. I did get a journey milestone though, and that is for destroying one starship. I thought, oh, okay. I was gonna say, I definitely destroyed more than one. I didn't do that badly. So I destroyed five. I guess that's something, consolation prize. All right, uh, let me explore this space station a little bit since I'm here. Let's see, we got, uh, I guess these are the Corvax. I forget, was it Nada or uh, Polo that was the Corvax? I think it was Nada that was the Corvax and Polo was the Gek. But I might have that refu uh, refused, I might have that mixed up. All right, so this is Operator Entity Yoser Devis. Blah, 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 blah. As I approach the electronic life form, it, it's, it instinctively starts to analyze me from head to foot. It chitters animatedly, its head tilted to one side. The more it studies, the more the facility's resource vault consumes what my scanner suggests are silicate elements. I mind that I know little of its kind and how it communicates and the lights in its mask flash. Oh, well I don't have anything on me because all of my stuff is at my grave, so let me just back out of here. I can't really do anything with this. Let's grab some uh, units though because that device will give me some. Oh, never mind, it increased my shield. Oh, you know what else I can do while I'm here? I have that atlas, oh wait, do I have my atlas pass? I have my atlas pass. So uh, some of these doors I might be able to access now. Cause I couldn't before. Wait, did that just open? I heard a noise, must be something else. All right, what is back here? This needs atlas pass version three. If I go around to the other side of the space station, I might be able to uh, get through that door. I think that was version one required, but I could be wrong. And oh! Uh, hmm. I'm gonna come back here. Uh, I wanna get a new starship. But I'm worried that if I do, my grave is gonna go away. Because once you die, you leave a grave. I don't know why it says it's on planet. It's definitely not on planet. Uh, but you leave a grave when you die, and you need to go back to it to get all your resources. And oh hey, I can open this door! What secrets does it have? That doesn't open. Multi-tool tech. New technology! Recoil Stabilizer Theta. Fully suppresses bolt casters kickback, eliminating all primary kinetic impulses created by energy bolt discharge. And let's see, get some carbon. Oh, a suit upgrade. Oh, but I want to use my money. I want to use my money for a ship. That's going to cost me 80000 No, I want a new ship. And that needs Atlas Pass version 3. Okay. Well, suit upgrade is nice and all, 
but I need a new ship. It's blatantly obvious since I got destroyed in that fight. So let's go get my grave and then I'll come back here and maybe I can buy someone's ship. There's my grave. Let's pulse drive over to it. And restoring lost inventory. So I got everything back. And let's go right back to that space station. Because I want a new ship. I want a new ship. I don't like dying, I don't like getting my butt kicked. In we go, and are they still here? Oh no, I think they left. Well that doesn't help me, I needed a ship. Well, crap. Uh, wait, is this guy coming in? I like the look of that thing, that looks cool. Yeah, I could definitely see myself riding this baby. Okay, uh, let's talk to him. Code Entity Mux. It's a Corvax. Blah 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 blah. The electronic life form readies data pertaining to the cargo it carries and the estimated worth of its starship. Want to make an offer on the life form starship. Oh, they're that expensive? Well, I guess we are waiting on that ship upgrade. I do not have 500,000 credits. I thought they'd be cheaper. Maybe we'll find a crashed one. You can find crashed starships, and uh, those are basically free. You just gotta find them. They can be on the planet's surface. But I haven't found any uh, on here yet, so been a little bit unlucky. All right, uh, let's warp. And let's see, the next point is 95.9 light years. That one's 153, so I gotta go here. And let's warp. Whoa, look at that. That's a cool looking planet. We're in the system Hamaiwankwe. And we got a new journey milestone. That one for warping eight times. All right, let's do a scan. Found a trading post. I don't really care about that. Maybe, let's see, how much does my hyperdrive have? My hyperdrive can do one more warp, so let's go ahead and we'll do one more warp. And then uh, I'll probably go explore a planet. Uh, that's 64.5. That one's 151, so I gotta warp uh, to here. So here we go. Alright, here we are in the system Ixwasangma. I know I said that wrong, but I say them all wrong. Woo! Okay, that's a interesting planet back there. Let's do a scan. Transmission tower detected. Well, let's go check it out. Where is it at? It's, uh... It's on this big planet right in front of me. Oh, is that purple? It's got some purple stuff down there. That's interesting. All right, let's head towards this transmission tower. Engage! Oh, I am upside down. Let's fix that. Oh, put me right side up. Come on. I don't like it. Oh, this world is very purple. The 
transmission tower is about 30 seconds out. Oh, actually, the time's going up. Uh, about a minute and 10, that's okay. So let's see, what do we got down here? We got lots of purple, which is weird. Some interesting looking plants. Not seeing any water. Got a big crater right over there. It's weird, but uh, not anything too crazy. I mean, it's just, uh, other than being purple, it's pretty normal. Let's see, it looks like a note of green. It could be green. There's aluminum. I think iridium, maybe? I forget. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. That planet looks really cool. We got blue skies. I don't even know if I've had a blue sky yet. Too bad you can't see any of the life forms from the ship. That would be really cool, especially those really big ones. I'm seeing like weird pockets of like green gas coming up. I don't know what those are. I've not seen that before. All right, here is our transmission tower. Let's go ahead and land on this planet and it'll tell us the details about it. All right, we are on an irradiated planet. Weather extreme contamination. Sentinels typical, flora high, fauna average. So uh, extreme radiation. Look at my meter going down. This planet could be more difficult for me to explore just because that hazard protection is going to get beat up so badly. But that just means whenever I find shelter, I'm definitely going to have to jump in it. Oh, look at this, though. This could be a money-making machine. Look at all these green icons. Oh, we got calcium. It's exotic. Oh, it's purple. I've never seen a purple before. Oh, never mind. It's not calcium. It's callium. Oh, we are definitely going to stock up on this. I don't even know what it is. Oh, hey, it's a Pineapolis Jumpicus. Not quite, but it's it's a cousin. And oh, man, look at these, like, bouncing plants. It's like a Halloween wig that, like, escaped from someone's head. All right, we got anything else interesting? We can scan these plants and stuff, and then I'm going to need to head inside so I don't die. Oh, hey, look at this. Another, like, mutated plant just, like, roaming around. Oh, radiation protection is getting beat up. Let me, let me get inside. Otherwise, it could end very badly. And I better get a save real quick, too. Because I want to... Oh! So those barrels that I couldn't open before because I didn't have an Atlas Pass, now that I have them, I can open those. And they've got really good stuff. So let's open that. That's going to get me uh, something. Crap. Suspension fluid. Uh, let me repair my hazard suit. Radiation protection. Okay, it's back online. Um, well, now that it's back at full, I may as well get some more of this callium stuff. But yeah, those barrels, they can give you antimatter, they can give you suspension fluid, I think they can give you some other things as well. Super, super useful, saves you a ton of money. So if you like exploring planets like I do, you can basically now warp around for free. Because every time you come down to a planet, you can just find those barrels at outposts and the like. And uh, you can get yourself all the ingredients you need. So you get some tech out of here. Something I already knew. Oh man, I hope this Callium is worth a ton of money because I could use money. I want to get a new starship. I want to get some more suit upgrades. I could use all the money I can get. Alright, so let's head in here. 
Got some multi-tool tech. New technology, rapid fire theta. Provides shortest cooldown times possible between bolt caster shots and simultaneously increases internal plasma production speeds. And what is this? Check stock transfer? Huh. That gave me units. Alright, what's in the transmission tower? Oh, here's some plutonium. Protection. Stabilizing. Oh, research specimen. That'll increase my standing with the Viking. Get some more carbon. New multi tool tech. New technology. Rebound grenades tau. Plasma launcher shells rebound from planetary structures before ignition. Oh, we got a storm coming up, too. This planet sucks. At least for living. Alright, let's check out the transmission tower, the Impoc Ams Pano Relay. Long ago, it seems an un it seems an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I can potentially extract the coordinates. Let's see, we got one, two, six, four, one twenty. So let's see, one times two, two times three, okay. So six times four. 24 times 5, so let's see, 120 times 6, that's 720. So 720 is our answer. Distress signal coordinates discovered. Oh, distress signal detected. I believe that is a crash ship, which means we're going to get a ship upgrade for free. For freezy. And that's a long way away, that's 7 minutes out. So we're probably just going to take the ship over there. That would be the smart thing to do, so let's do that. Oh, and while I'm looking, let's upload all, these dis all of these discoveries. Oh, I want to give this planet, like, a stupid name. Let's see, what's Toxic? There's that Britney Spears song, Toxic. I don't know why that came to mind first. I'm not, like, a Britney Spears fan by any means. Um... That looks cool. I'm just gonna upload these. I don't need to give these a name. This world has seven species. I've already found two. I'm gonna name this Britannicus Toxic. Or Toxic Brit... Britannicus. Sure. That's gonna be its name. Actually, I kinda just like Toxicitus. Kinda sounds cool. Let's do that. Toxicitus. The planet Toxicitus. Alright, we're in an extreme storm, but the ship's gonna protect me. And let's go see what this crash ship is. Hopefully it's an upgrade. Just like I said, I need it. I'm in dire straits on the starship uh, situation. There it is. It's definitely a crash ship. And let's land. I think I overshot it. But that's that's fine. Did I overshoot it? No, I'm right next to it actually. Let's see, we got new tech. Already known. Oh, another barrel. I love these things. Boom, electron vapor, that's gonna save me some some uh, supplies because that's the first step to making warp cells all right so what is this uh, oh I think it's worse it's 14 slots mine's 15 can I like steal the I wonder if I could steal the upgrades nope I can't that sucks all right well no uh, upgraded ship for me Oh, look at this planet. So many goodies. Alright, I need to get back in the ship. I'm getting tore up by this storm. Toxicitus was a good name. This place is not friendly to life. Oh, hey, look at those birds. I didn't even notice those before. Let me get a scan on those guys. 
Alright, come on. These birds are always a pain. Come on. Nice. Just one little scan. Radiation protection falling. Alright, they're running in a pattern, so let's see. Oh, that should have been good. Oh, come on. Why are you so hard to scan? Alright, let me get back in the ship. And then I'll try again. Hey, the storm's clearing. Those birds are getting away from me. And I'm not going to let them escape. Okay. Come on, let's get the scan in. Ugh. I think I need to get closer. Let's get closer. Ow! That did not feel good. Even without the storm, my hazard suit just gets beat up here. This is insane. Okay, come on. Just gotta get a beat on him for a little bit. And then the analyze will start, and then once it's started, we're good. But that's the difficult part. Is actually getting it. Gotta move it like really smooth. I still don't know what people were talking about shooting these down. I tried on the other planet, it totally didn't work for me. The problem is he spins in circles. Stop it. Stop being so damn stubborn. Oh, oh, he's playing with me now. All right, come on. There's tons of them. I can get a scan on one of these. No! Radiation protection. All right, they should not be allowed to spin in circles. It is against the rules. Alright, what about this guy? Is he spinning? Nation protection oh! Oh, finally! Finally got a scanning on that guy. Newly discovered Kudakateri Slithlog. Oh, we gotta name him. He's a jerk. Let's upload that. What are we gonna name you? He just looks like a... Just kind of looks like a bat with ears, but bats have ears, but different ears, like rabbit ears. Let's just call him an elusive rabbit bat. Elusive rabbit bat. That'll work. Took me quite a few attempts to get that guy scanned. Okay, there we go. The elusive rabbit bat is our third species of seven. So let's grab this. We'll get back in the ship. And uh, maybe go somewhere else. I don't know. Getting all kinds of callium, though. Hopefully it's worth a lot of money, because I could definitely use it. Oh, is that the... That's the messed up ship. I don't want that. I want my ship. The Pristine. Alright, launch thrusters are getting a little low. We got something over here. Let's go check that out. All those green, I'm pretty sure those are all those plants that uh, drop the callium. Maybe I can make a bunch of money here. Let's go ahead and land at this outpost. And maybe it'll have one of those barrels for me. Oh, and it does. Well, let's get a save. And what does the barrel have? It's got... 
Something. Electron vapor. That'll work. New technology discovered. Advanced cooling tau. Photo photon cannon cooldown times are significantly reduced. Wonder if the radiation will be less in the cave. Let's see. Well, it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. Oh, never mind, that is the case. So we got some creatures hiding down here from all that radiation. That makes sense. What is this thing? Eh, nothing scannable. Hey, journey milestone accomplished. This one. Undaunted survived 1.0 souls in extreme conditions. I don't know what souls are, but we've definitely been in extreme conditions, all right. Oh crap, the storm reaches down here. Oh, never mind, I'm just out of cover. Uh, where are those dots at? Um, turn around. Back in the cave. I think the stacks go to higher amounts on the ship. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. That zinc stack is 250. Oh, I can't tell. Uh, do we have anything on both? Okay, this platinum can stack to 250. Platinum on the ship. Okay, yeah, the stacks on the ship are higher, so I can send that over. Um, okay, so can we use the Thamium 9 from here? We're pretty close. Okay, it's gonna let me do it here. So we got one warp cell. That's gonna get our hyperdrive up to 20%. We wanna get that thing at a full charge before we leave. And did we check this? Okay, we did. Okay, hey, red dots. Jumping somethings. What are these? What are you? I want to see your face. Well, it's a new species. What is that thing? Let's see if I can see it on here. What is that? It's like a snake fish worm? A worm fish? Without any body, just the head? Jumping worm fish, sure. Flying worm fish. Kind of looks like a flying fish. Sure, flying worm fish. Or a jumping worm fish? Jumping worm fish. Jumping worm fish. Cat. Oh, there's some red dots. Need to be careful though, my uh, protection might not make it all the way there. And I don't have any anything to recharge it. All right, we're gonna do this scan and then run back to the ship. Quick scan and then bolt. Oh, whoa! Oh, that thing is way strange. Very, very weird. Okay, so that was, what? Four, five of the seven. So we're already getting pretty close to finding them all. Wonder if we could build anything to help us with radiation for our suit. I know we can do it for ice. Got something for that. Radiation. Don't think I have anything for radiation though. And unfortunately we don't have one of those awesome barrels to give us a bunch of uh, to give us suspension fluid or antimatter or something like that. I might have to actually bolt caster my way in. Oh no, I can just walk in. All right, learn a new word that is unacceptable for the Viking. New tech. 
We've got a journey milestone. Must be for learning words. Yep. Learned... Learned 80 words. Linguist. New technology discovered. Ricochet Theta. Shots fired by bolt caster reach maximum deflection rates. Is this a research specimen? Yep, that's gonna increase our standing with a Viking. Get some more carbon. And I'll interact with that in a minute. I wanna see what is this way. Uh, I need Atlas Pass version two. Okay, sub and gold reflector. Judging by the imposing size and weapons shown on the identification ID image that glares at me as I boot up the system, the station's overseer must have originated from a warrior race. The lifeform probably left long before the arrival of the beacon that now winks tantalizingly next to it. If I can enter the correct code, perhaps I can learn its secrets. 5920, 9205, 2059. We're looking for 0592. There we go. The numbers I enter are correct. The location of a new world appears on the screen. It keeps saying new world, but I'm pretty sure that signal's gonna be on this world. So I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, see I found a ruin, but it's on this world. So I don't know what it's talking about new world. That's 41 minutes away. I'm not gonna bother with that. Won't be that far in the ship, but still. All right, we got some more green stuff. Do we have any life forms nearby? We got some stuff that way. One I know, one I'm not sure about. I need some zinc so I can increase this shield so I can explore for longer. Got these jumping dudes. Oh, hey. He's probably the same species though. Oh, no, he's a new species. Radiation protection. Awesome, there's some zinc too, just what I needed. That one, yep, those are all the same. Oh, there's a baby one. And a mama one. All right, we got only one species left. That's not bad at all. Okay. I want that upgrade. So let's go to the suit, move that zinc. And we are gonna build a shield boost sigma. Shield duration and charge capacity is comp is improved. Awesome, that's gonna help a lot. Actually, let me check those birds, make sure that's the same species. Oh, no they are not. Oh great, I get to try to scan these guys. These aren't like, okay good. They aren't like flying in circles, so. Hey, it was the last species. Awesome, that was the quickest plan that I've discovered. Uh, okay, so I I need a galactic trade terminal. How can I get that? Um, herm, we could go up. Let's see if we can find one here. And if we can't, we'll go up to the space station. Because uh, there's still a chance that I could find a, uh, some more of those barrels for, uh, that give antimatter and, uh, suspension fluid and electron vapor from having our Atlas Pass, because if I found one of those, that'd be really good. Ah, right, here we go, I found one. So that's definitely gonna have a terminal. Let's go and land, we'll check out that building, see if it's got anything good, and then we'll go interact with the galactic terminal. Why is my ship taking so long to land? Oh, it went over to the pad. I didn't even have that targeted. Well, that works. Okay, oh, it looks like we got a barrel. And we got a storm coming. So, this barrel, hopefully give me some antimatter. No, more suspension fluid. Health at max. Let's get a uh, heal in, or sorry, save. Alright, 
we got a green thing over here. Oh, actually, screw that. I gotta get inside. I gotta get inside quick. Oh no. Okay, here's the door. Right in time. Awesome. Good timing. Okay, learn a new word. The Viking word for gas. New specimen, that's gonna increase my standing. Get some units from that. And new tech here. New technology discovered, beam focus theta. Faster mining beam processes on resource rich materials. And uh, the Emrodola Station, Viking Observatory. Images show that this observatory was once a war zone. Mangled metal, scorched walls, and the heavily decayed corpses of a dozen hulking lifeforms betray a brutal firefight. Now repaired, whatever transpired, it must have happened before the beacon that flashes on screen arrived. Perhaps if I enter the correct code, I can decipher it. 3987-9873-8739, so I need 7398. Thanks to its recent repairs, the observatory still functions. It leaps into life as I enter the digits, showing the location of a new destination deep within the cosmos. And I don't know why it says cosmos. I know it's going to be on the world. And indeed it is. Unknown coordinates. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to go there. That's just a monolith. I do want to go in here. Oh wait, is this the right spot? I'm all turned around. Yep, yeah, this is where I want to go, because this has the terminal. And it looks like it's got a new multi-tool. Who are you? Warrior Urkong. Urkang. Blah, 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 Viking. Blah, 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 weapon. The warrior is young and looks terrified. Military orders for an upcoming operation fill its terminal screen. When it sees me, its eyes widen and it drops to the floor on its knees, proffers its multi-tool up towards me. It yelps sound, its yelps sound pleading. The fear in its movements are more than apparent. It's so on edge that it doesn't seem aware of the security cameras that surround us, watching its every move. Well, I will take the multi-tool, why would I not take it? The young conscript makes preparations to abandon its post. Silent cameras record its act of disobedience. Ah, uh, this has 11 slots, doesn't mine have 12? Mine has 12, screw that. Decline. Your standing with the Viking has decreased. Guess they didn't like that. Analyze multi-tool tech, new technology discovered, plasma launcher grenades have widened impact craters. What is this? This is a obscured unk hongj. Ooh -ah. It's got 11 slots too, I don't care about that. Okay. It is time to make a bunch of warp cells. So what do we need? I need four left, I think. For my hyperdrive. Yep, I need four. So, uh, hey, what's that? Oh, that's all busted up. I need Thamium 9 for that, too. Okay, what do I need to do? I need... I've got suspension fluid. That'll make me electron vapor, which I have two of now. Uh, and I can... can't make antimatter. I need her... zinc. I need zinc. I've got heridium, so just the zinc. I need quite a bit of it. I'm gonna need, what, 80? Because I need to make four antimatters. So I need 80 zinc. Do I have that much heridium? I don't think I do. How much is on this ship? No, I need more heridium as well. Okay, let's uh, transfer that to the ship. So I can hold more. And let's see, I'm gonna need one more suspension fluid as well. So I need to buy a suspension fluid. I might just buy the zinc. 
Although it's really easy to find. Let's see. Let's buy, actually let's sell first. Cause I wanna see what that Callium's worth. Could be worth a ton. It's actually not worth that much. So let's go to Starship inventory first. Let's sell this gold, it's worth a ton. So let's sell that. We could sell some titanium, it's worth a decent amount. Let's go ahead and sell like half of it. We'll sell 447 so that leaves us with a stack. So down to 447, that's what we want. Wish you could just type in a number here. So 4... 47 leaves us with one stack, so let's sell that. Oh, I forgot too. I could just make a ton of money by uh Wait, I thought I had two stacks of iron. I forgot to make a ton of money from uploading my species uh, for the planet. So let's upload that, upload that. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's so funny looking. I don't have a good name for it though. Wow, that looks very strange. But we'll just upload that and then we can upload this for the full planet. That'll give us 175,000 units, so that gives us a bunch of money. And it should give us a milestone as well. Oh, hey, so, some extra money. Oh, no, that's health. What about this? Shield. All right, is that milestone gonna pop up? There it is, journey milestone accomplished. Researcher discovered all species on five planets. Let's wait on buying suspension fluid because I might find another one of those crates that just has them for me. Oh, hey, there's one right here. Wow, it might be right here. Electron vapor, even better. So problem solved. So let's fly around. Hopefully I can find a heridium stash. I don't know if this planet actually has it though. And if not, uh, I can just, oh, actually that might be some right there. Yep, that's some heridium. Oh, let's go get some heridium then. And here's some plutonium right in front of me. Pick that up. Okay. Heridium. Don't care. I'm right next to my ship. I'm not going to die next to my ship. Oh, my beam is out. Completely out of juice. Let's charge that with carbon. And uh, we can give it a little plutonium as well. And that's probably enough peridium. So let's get back in the ship. And we will craft these antimatters. Uh, oh, it wasn't heridium that I was short on. I was short on zinc, but whatever. I got more heridium now. So I need what, 30 more zinc? And uh, that should be 30 zinc right there. While we're there, we can get some more kalium. What have you? Nope, you're a different type of that species. Gets me some more credits. More zinc. More Kalium. And we should be good. Oh, there's a Zinc right next to the ship. I'll grab that too. There we go. That's definitely enough. So let's see, we got antimatter. Oh, well, it can be there, that's fine. And then I need more, another antimatter. And all right, just need Thamium-9 and we know where to get that. We go take care of some asteroids. And let's upload that final discovery for this planet. Goodbye, Toxicitus. It's been a pleasure. Whoa, shot up right out of orbit again. That happens every once in a while. 
I think I'm still in the atmosphere. Yep, there we go. Here's some asteroids for me. Let's take these out, get our Thamium-9, and we will have a fully charged hyperdrive that can take us all the way to the Atlas interface. I'm gonna need some more. We can blow up that asteroid as well. That's some sort of different material. What is it? It is inventory full. That's what it is. Well, whatever. We don't need it. Well, actually, I can just do that. Transfer that. Hostile subspace scan detected. Hostile... What is this? Hostile ships on approach? Oh, crap. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Uh... Okay, it looks like it's just one ship. You made a mistake coming by yourself. I may be bad at ship combat, but I can take one guy. Oh, shield is down. Maybe I can't. Uh, titanium. Oh, he's smoking, though. He's almost done. You're done for, buddy. Boom. Yeah. Don't mess with me. I'll take you out. Standing with the Viking increased. Apparently they like me kicking butt. Oh, this is gold. And aluminum. Oh, I might have got gold from that ship, maybe? Maybe this asteroid is all types of resources. Alright, that's good enough. So let's make those warp drives. Let's charge this baby up. And we'll be out of here. So there we go. One, two. Oh. Guess I need more Thamium 9. Thought I had enough. That's alright, we got asteroids all over the place. Not an issue. There we go. What is that? About 100 I've gotten? say it's been about a hundred. Uh, actually, that should be more than enough. Okay. Can I do them now? Let's see. Oh, that's technology. I don't want that. Warp cell and warp cell. And then let's just charge the hyperdrive and we're good. There we go. All the way up to 100%. We're good. We're done with this place. So let's uh, go to the galactic map. And how close? We were pretty close to it already, I think. Let's see. Might just be one jump away. That's 89. It's 125, so I gotta make two jumps. So there we go. Let's engage. System Aeon Shuoheku 3. Alright. Let's do a scan just to be sure we don't miss anything awesome. Okay, that's nothing we really care about. And uh, we will make the final jump to the Atlas interface. So there it is, and let's do it. And there it is, the Atlas interface in the Miyong Duchag <laughs> uh, system. All right, let's head on over to it, and we will get our second Atlas stone. Into the red circle of death. Oh, and look at this. It's not a giant red ball this time. It looks like a black hole. It's super dark sphere. So it's changed looks on us. Restore points saved. 
learn the geck word for nasal. Well, how that would come up. Maybe they want to stick more slugs up my nose. You've learned the geck word for death. And it gave me a blueprint I already have. All right, and uh, as always, don't forget, these are warp cells, you want these. And let's interact with the interface. Nexus Anya Lirit Zens. Another Atlas interface. How many of these constructs exist in the deep void? How long have they been slumbering, waiting for a traveler? Have they been waiting for me? Am I somehow chosen? I sense the creators of this reality. They emulate everything. The Gek and the Viking, the Corvax and the Sentinels. Every world that turns that... Every world that turns and form that lie... I can't read, apparently. Every world that turns and form that lie lives. Oh, okay. I'm trying to call that lives. The ghost of them lingers and drives me on. There is so much I can learn from them. And I can't understand a word he's saying. It's all blah, 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 blah. And uh, I can consent. I need milestone Juno or above. I'm pretty sure I'm well above that. So let's go ahead and consent. I take the gift of knowledge, certain in my decision. All doubts are silenced. The stars await me. And there is my Atlas Stone. So that puts me up to two. So let's just stack those up. They're gonna be taking up a ton of space. I don't know why I can't move that. There we go. Okay, those are there. Taking up lots of space. Eight more to come, which is kind of annoying. And with those two warp cells we got, we can charge up our hyperdrive back to full, which is nice. Oh, I never did repair this. Let's repair. And there we go. We have two Atlas Stones. We are making progress. We are one-fifth of the way there. In terms of the Atlas Stones as well, but I'm... Uh, it's in terms of the Atlas Stones, but I'm pretty sure that's not the full story. But that is going to do it for this video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.